Yeah! Mmm. Been a while since I had one of these, a past blue ribbon. I haven't been buying them because they've been so ugly. The can's got like some sort of weird artwork. And you know what? It still does. Look at this artwork on the back of this can. Look at that. What the hell is all this nonsense on it? It says, uh, Josh McQuarrie, the winner of the 2017 Pass Blue Ribbon Art Competition. Uh, I don't even know what's going on with this can. Let's, let's go through it together. So, looks like we got some aliens there uh, with laser guns. Uh, there's some sort of dinosaur on it. Uh, there's Indian feathers. I, I just don't know what the hell this all is. There's a spaceship. There's some eyes. Uh, there's some hands. It's just, it's ugly. It, it's, it's incredibly ugly. I bought it just to show. Go ahead and take a look at that. You know, I just I bought it to show you how ugly it all is. I mean that is gross, nasty. But beer still tastes real good. Past blue ribbon, everybody. When was this originally made? 1844. That's an old ass beer. Don't get much older than that. Got a sponsor I'd like to tell you all about. Very proud to have him. Gave me $25 to help keep the lights on, keep the camera rolling, and pay for some of the packs. And pay for a little bit of the beer. They're not supposed to pay for the beer, but I don't care. They're going to pay for it. That's part of this uh, thing. And uh, sometimes I drink beer. Oh, I always drink beer. Uh, outside the camera. So, get a little drunk all the time. My sponsor today is... Hog chasing a venom claw. Yeah, you guys don't know what fun is until you've chased a big fat hog. And I ain't talking about a woman. I'm talking about the about the animal you eat that makes bacon and and, and sausage and and uh, uh, pork chops. Yeah, that's some that's a good eating animal right there. You will see that fat ass animal in there. I'm gonna eat good tonight or whenever. And uh, man, let me tell you what. You get on down there to the farm of. Josh McElroy, McElroy, I think I'm saying that right, it's like McRoy, but I always call him McElroy, he and, uh, he's got four sons, uh, I can't remember all their names, but they're all dumb, I, I don't really like any of them, I saw one time they, uh, ticked the man's hat across the beer mark's floor, I, you know, that man almost got to his hat, they took off his hat, you know, they threw it on the ground, and he looked, all right, you know, he's an old ass man, and he goes over, and just right when he goes to pick it up, one of the other boys kicks it across the room. And that old man had a look on his face just like he couldn't believe what was happening to him. So, you know, them boys, McElroy boys, they are tough customers. And I would not recommend uh, being alone with them uh, unless you want to be abused. But anyways, getting back to hog chasing. So you chase these big hogs. They're half domesticated, half feral. Because I've done some chasing. I've, I've chased them quite a few times. Uh, it's good for your exercise. You get to chase hogs. People know that you all got to exercise more. So, uh, yeah, you, that's good exercise chasing these big old pigs around a pen. Uh, they entertain the farmer. Uh, Josh doesn't have much to do. You know, he's a farmer. He's got 20 acres. He's just like, damn. It's just a life I gotta live the rest of my life. The answer is yes, but you know he can at least watch some city folk run and chase some big old hogs. That's pretty good. Uh, there is one thing I gotta mention that is perhaps not a part of the uh, entertainment, but it really entertains me whenever it happens. Is when you're chasing these hogs, they try to run into the house that Josh built for them. Josh messed up building this house. The door is too short for the hogs to run through. When they run through these things. Their back scrapes that thing so damn hard. I mean, it is brutal. The first time I ever saw that, I couldn't believe what I just saw. I'll never forget that first time I ever saw that hog scrape its entire back. I'm, I'm talking about from its shoulder to its ass. Its entire spinal cord was probably severely bruised from hitting that door. Its knees didn't buckle. It ran through, and it was just just took it all. Just, 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 you can't believe how harsh that must have been on the animal. Now, before you say that's animal cruelty, that's harsh, remember, this pig's going to get slaughtered and turned into delicious meat for everyone to enjoy. And Josh will make a hefty profit off him. So uh, get on down and do some hog chasing right off the square in uh, Enum Claw. 
uh, not too far from my house, maybe five miles. Get on down there and chase some hogs and get some exercise and get some goddamn good entertainment. I'm telling you right now, you wouldn't think how fun that is until you see a hog scrape its entire back on some boards. I, I got one cornered and I I was having fun. I got one cornered in the pen. All of a sudden it started growling. Up. And I'm like, and I realized I was the one in trouble then. And I dove the fuck out of the way, and that thing rushed past me, and then it scraped its back on that board. Good times. All right, what I'm here for. Ready? I went on down to Walmart, trusty Walmart in Covington, which they're building a Chick-fil-A next to. I don't think they're ready. They don't know what's going to happen when that Chick-fil-A opens. Covington is not going to handle the Chick-fil-A. Bellevue and Tacoma still can't handle the Chick-fil-A. Those are massive cities. And and it's going to shut down the area. When that opens up, we're not going to... I don't think I'll be able to get to Walmart for at least a year. But I went down in there and I did what I love to do. I got some blister packs. Yeah, Circuit Break came out not too long ago. Less than a month ago, I want to say. And I love getting the new blister pack set. So... What I did was I went on down there, and uh, this is going to be a long opening because I went kind of ape shit. I got 13 Code of the Duelist blister packs. Really hoping to get a hold of a Firewall Dragon or a Trickstar Reincarnation or a Cossack Magician. I'd really like any of those. Then I also got this kind of a doubler. If I can even pick these up. 13 Blister packs for uh, what is it, Legendary Duelist, but there's two in each one, so that's actually 26 packs of Legendary Duelist. Uh, I just want to get the Red Eyes cards. I like to get the Gear Freed one. That one's always cool. And like I was saying, I also managed to pick up 14 Circuit Break Blister packs, so it's going to be a long opening, but it's not over yet. No, I, I don't know how this keeps happening, but let me go ahead and grab that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. I got it. One! Fusion Enforcers! I, there's always one! I always grab it. I'm like, alright, that must be... I just threw this thing on the ground. Ah! But, there's always one! There's always one left somehow. I, I buy it. I'm like, okay, that's the last one. I come back like three, four weeks later. There's another one! Like, where, where are they getting these from? Every time, like, oh, someone bought that one Fusion Enforcer, better hang another one up. Who's doing that? That's crazy. That's hilarious. But... Anyways, guys, I'm really excited. That is a total of uh, 54 packs that I got to get to open in. So that's, you know, more than two booster boxes. It's going to be a long-ass opening. And I hope you all are ready for Hope you got some Mountain Dew. Hope you got some Doritos. Hope you got some Planters Peanuts. Hope you got some uh, something else. Whatever you need, maybe you get that orange crush, uh, that stuff you mix into your water, you shake up your water, and all of a sudden you got like shitty orange crush that's not as good as orange crush, but it's better for you, or so they say. Uh, so, hell, you know, I'm going to head on back. I got to open these up, not on camera. That just takes too damn long. It's going to take me like a goddamn fucking half hour to open all this shit. But, uh, you know, I'm going to head over yonder and get this started. Uh, and then I'm also, you know, going to just, god damn, that's a lot. I overdid it this time. But, uh, you know, uh, I had locals today. I went 3-1. I beat Wicked Will, the former, the disgraced former local champion. And I lost to Rad Ryan. I rarely ever beat Ryan. Ryan's a really good player. I mean, he's one of our best, in my opinion, that doesn't run like a tier zero deck. He's playing Payless Oak today. and He plays really well. He's really good. <sighs> So anyways, guys, remember what we got to do. We got to enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! Got to get through all the nonsense it gives us. And we always got to remember to get drunk! Alright, let's get on in there. It took me about a goddamn half hour to open all these packs. So not only do you have to open them, and the, the legendary duelist ones, they have two packs in there. So I got to remove an extra piece of plastic. And some of these have a magnetic strip on them. So, my God, was that a lot of work. So, anyways, so 26 Legendary Duelists, 13 Code of Duelists, 14 uh, Circuit Break, and 1 Lonely Fusion Enforcers. What I'd love to get out of this Fusion Enforcers, Invocation, period. Invoke Macabre would be cool, too, but that's about it. This, just, let's see if I can get it. 
Here we go. What a way to start the video if I can get it. All right. Right for Wolf. Phoenix Wind Wind Blast. Predator Pruning. And a Fright for Kraken. That's actually not a bad one to get. Old Fright for Kraken. Uh, one engine monster, one fluffle monster, even though I think Frightfurs are dead because of Link Summoning. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent control sent to the graveyard. This card cannot attack directly the turn. This effect is activated. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn, at the end of battle phase, if this card battled, you can change this card to defense position. Like a Dante. Pretty good. I'll put him up here. All right, so Legendary Duelist. Uh, I just want that Red Eye Slash. There's, the Red Eye cards are actually all really good, so... I'd like to get any of those. Oxy, get on. Amazon is Archer. Uh, Ryoku and Cyberdark Clar. Like Vega. The Clur. Whoa. There's a lot opening here. How many packs? Insane. Yomi Ship. Cyberdark Horn. Sergeant Electro. Amazon is Call. With Archer on the front. Easily the best set of these, I think, is Circuit Break. There's a lot of really good cards in that. Legendary Ocean, Fisherman 3, Oxy Get On. Red Eyes Baby Dragon with a rare Cyberdark Cannon. Red Eyes Baby Dragon, pretty cool. He's kind of cute. All right, Dragon. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. And if you do, equip this card from the graveyard to it. It gains 300 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can add one level one dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So that's basically trying to recycle um, Blackstone of Legend, I think. Uh, what level is Black Metal Dragon? The little equipped dragon monster. I'm going to put the ultra rares up here. I'm not going to put the supers. Red Eyes Retro Dragon, which I can't remember what it was called in OCG. It looks so cool in OCG. It was like a parallel secret. Terror Dark Edge, Harbor Get On, and Rage of Kairu Shin. Gross. That's an ugly card. Starting off strong. The Red Eyes Baby Dragon. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. Yeah, old fat bastard. Amazonist Village, Express Roid, Hydro Get On, and Steve Stealth Attack. I got fucked up by this card today. Uh, damn. It's got destroyed. Uh, I was playing against uh, Phantasmal Spiral Fish Monsters, and this card was really doing some damage to me. That deck's not bad at all, I don't think. I think it's actually a pretty competitive deck. Especially if Skill Drain was at, like, 3, then holy shit, that deck would probably be pretty meta. But Skill Drain's at 1 over here. Oxy get on Amazonist Archer, Legendary Fisherman, and a Merge Roy Call with a rare Amazonist Call. A merge, oh, that's funny. I got Amazon is called and a merge roid call back to back in the same pack. Uh, this is a pretty epic looking card though with all the roid monsters. You got jet, uh, copter roid, whatever they call them, gyroid, uh, amberoid. Just damn. When a spell trap card or a monster effect is activated while well, you control a roid fusion monster, negate the activation and then send all. Uh, cards with the same name as that card from the activating player's deck and extra deck to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Roid monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use the effective Emerge Roid call once per turn. One of the worst ultras in this set in terms of value. <laughs> but what can you do? How many came in a box? 36? I'm almost at a box level. Golden Apples. And we ship Hydra Get On. And another! Red Eyes! Mega Roid City. Red Eyes, Baby Dragon, I got. I always make sure to read the effects, so when this card is destroyed by battle and is in the graveyard, you can special summon one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck, and if you do, equip this card from your graveyard to it. It gains 300 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard or equipped to a monster, you can add one level 1 dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Pretty good. I think it's actually a really good card for the deck. Adds consistency, even though... <sighs> I think will brick more. Rise deck just, I like the look of it, but it just it never does anything. I've played against it in real life and online, and my opponent never does anything. Uh, Water Dragon, Bonding DHO. Was it Bastion Masawa? What's his name that used the Water Dragon? What was the card he had against Jaden that he thought would win? 
Uh, damn it, I used a trap card that had to do with spells. Monster Reincarnation, Cyber Dark Edge, Hydra Get On, and Megaroid Cite. Whoa, hold up. Uh, whenever I try to uh, readjust the piles off camera, they always get more messed up. Oh, just drop that one. All right, more legendary duels. So I'm looking forward to legendary duels too. I want to get the Pegasus and the Banded Keith and Weevil cards. Pretty sick. Sardar Keel, Vecroid. Ooh, original Red Black Dragon and Sea Stealth Attack to remind me of my near destruction. I, uh, I Mitch was a guy running the. The, the Spiral Phantasm normal monster deck, and Mitch has got this bright red hair. I mean, bright, bright red, and he's a really good player. He doesn't get enough credit either. He's really good. Water Dragon, Armoroid, Sphere, Karibo, and Amazon. Oh, boy. Amazon is baby tiger. Amazon is call. What an adorable monster. My God, I never get tired of getting this thing. Look at this guy. Isn't that adorable? Look at him. He's like, meow, meow. All right, let me read his effect. This card's name because Amazonist Tiger while on the field or in the graveyard. If Amazonist Monster is normal or special summon at your field while this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Amazonist Baby Tiger once per turn and gains 100 attack for each Amazonist card in your graveyard. It's amazing how cute and adorable he is and what he grows up to be. Where is this Amazonist Tiger? Man, that thing is like all messed up. It's got scars. It's, it's old. It's... It's had a rough time with drugs, you know, just it got addicted to catnip, just got all messed up. I'm really surprised they were toned down the artwork on this and the TCG. I mean, those just big heaving tits. Cyber Dark Edge, Red Eyes Edge Retro Dragon, Vectroid Connection Zone, and Amazon is Onslaught. Is this a new one? I think this is one of the new cards. I'm probably wrong, but Amazon is one of the worst archetypes ever released. Just, they don't do shit. Ooh, original Red Eyes. B-Dragon, Armoroid, Cyber Dark Edge, Express Roid, Cyber Dark Cannon. That's another deck that never really did much that I remember, Cyber Dark. Forever known as one of the worst sets ever printed, Cyber Dark Impact. Sergeant Electro, Red Eyes Fusion, Oxy Get On, and the Legendary Fisherman 2. So for this, I'm going to skip the Supers, Megaroid City. Uh, I'm only putting the Ultras up today. But that's actually the first super I've gotten. I've gotten four ultras and one super so far. It's pretty good. I'm doing really well with these. Ugh, open up. All right. Ryoku. Legendary Ocean. The Legendary Fisherman 3. Actually get on and see stealth attack. Got a place out of that now. That's to let me know that I almost lost to that. I literally almost lost. The guy lost in time. He couldn't do enough damage to me in time to win. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, I can't get him out. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Damn. I need more beer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oxy get on. Rise B Dragon, Armoroid, Cyber Dark Edge, Amazonist Onslaught. You know, a lot of trap rares. Trap cards are out of style, bruh. Quit printing them. Except for evenly matched. Keep printing that, I guess. All right, how do we get on Infernal Fire Blast? I love the artwork on that card. Ryoku, a Lendry Ocean, and Cyberdark Clur. I always say Clur because uh, there was a, you know, I play Street Fighter a lot, and Vega is a claw character. He always has a claw. And uh, there was a skit involved with him many years ago where the guy who kept, uh, was supposed to be Vega, instead of saying claw, he kept saying Clur, which made me laugh hysterically. Legendary Fisherman 3, Cyber Dark Kills, Feel or Karibo, Legendary Fisherman, the original. I love the original Legendary Fisherman. You may notice that they uh, put a puff ball on the end of that, but on Legendary Fisherman 3, or, yeah, 3, you can see that he is uncensored. They didn't care. But back then, when this set, when Pharaoh Servant came out, that was too violent for Yu Gi Oh! So they covered that up. Amazon's Onslaught. How many of these are gotten? Good lord almighty. Man, this pile of le legendary duelists just never ends. It's like, wow, that's a lot of these. I'm happy, though. I've gotten four ultras already. Whoa. How baby tiger get moved? Ghosts. Uh, Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Wonder Balloon, Sphere Karibo, Oxy Get On, and Cyber Dark Cannon. Special Beam Cannon from Piccolo. Everyone remember that? 
Remember how in all of Dragon Ball, all the moves when they first do them take forever? Like Goku powering up his Super Saiyan 3 took like six damn minutes. Yomi ship, now he just does it instantaneous. Amazon is Cyber Dark Edge. Larry Fishman 2, so far the only super I've gotten is an, one of those and a Mixeroid. Oh, Mixeroid there. Linary Fisherman 2. It's all right. I wonder why they skipped two. They went and had... The hell was that? Holy shit, that was scary. Going on with the packs. Wow. There might be some ghost activity going on. I don't know. Carrying on. Uh, Amazon Storage Only Vehicle and Amazon's Onslaught. Man, I'm getting a lot of them. Alright. Pat's stuck together. Man, that was scary. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Alright, Bond and H2O, Amazon's Village, Express Roid, Hydra Get On, and Rage of Carrie Shin. This pack's a little messed up, see that? It's got like two of the frills on it. Sergeant Electro, Water Dragon, Wonder Balloons, Oxy Get On, and Amazon's Onslaught, holy shit! I'm getting that so much. All right, three packs of this left. Ugh. Larry Fisherman 3, Leotar, Red Eyes, Retro Dragon, Wonder Balloons, and Megaroid City for Cyrus. Alright. Super Dark Keel, Amazonist Village, Bonding H2O, and Super Vecroid Mobile Base. Cyber Dark Clur. Alright, finally, it's the last pack of Legendary Duelist. I'd like to get the Red Eyes Gear Freed monster. Can I pull him out? Here we go. Inferno Fire Blast, Monster Reincarnation, Amazonas Village, Leotar, and Megaroid City. I was unable to pull him. All right, so on to the Code of the Duelist. There's really only two cards I want from this uh, that I'd really like to get a hold of. Firewall Dragon and, of course, Trickstar Reincarnation. Which I heard Trickstar would be really good. I've never lost to him online or in the shop. I'm sure that's bound to change soon. Dark World Brainwashing. I was inspired. I saw a guy playing Dark World today at Locals. I was like, damn. Uh, Jane Twilight, uh, Break Off Trap Hole. And Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Samurai Skull. I forgot this card was even printed. Samurai Skull, Orbital Highlander. All right, so far Walmart hasn't let me down again. It's like Rick Astley, never gonna let me down. Uh, Launcher Commander, World Legacy Heart, Jack Wyvern. Oh, there we go, a secret rare Lumina, Twilight Shaman, and a Spring King Dragon, Starving Venom. Farwell Trump Panda, very offensive. Uh, uh, hang on, Mock, uh, uh, so gross, Smile Universe. Let me go ahead and read uh, Lumina Twilight Sworn Shaman. Its effect is once per turn you can banish one Light Sworn monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one of your banished Light Sworn monsters. Except Lumina Twilight Sworn Shaman. Special summon it. Once per turn, if your other Light Sworn monster effect is activated, it's in the top three cards uh, of your deck to your graveyard. I don't really understand. I know the one's really good. The Ryko, the new Ryko, is actually really good at a non targeting banishing effect. Other than that, I don't see too much. Uh, Twilight Sworn action. All right, cool. Already a secret rare. Looking, looking good. All right, still carrying on. Backup secretary, another offensive card. Gross. Launcher commander, World Legacy Heart, Trap Tricks Mantis. Right there he is. So this one, yeah, right here. Uh, 
If this card is normal summon or flip face up, you can banish one Life Swarm monster from your hand or graveyard. Banish one card on the field once per turn if an other Life Swarm monster effect is activated in the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. So I really like it. You can banish one Life Swarm monster from your hand or graveyard. Banish one card on the field. Really good. Uh, I've been fucked by that many times. Ugh. I know a crown by the World Chalice. All right. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. My empty pack pile fell. Launcher Commander, World Legacy, Jack Wyvern, The Ascend of Thunder, Goki, Twist Cobra, World Legacy Discovery. Uh, what is this? Stack Reviver? I don't even, I don't even remember this card. How weird that is. Twilight Twin Dragons. Alright, uh, Code of the Duelist continuing on here. Ah, boogie Trap. I think that's supposed to be Virgil. I really do. I think that is supposed to be Virgil, but he looks like his colors are all wrong. It's an alternate color like in Street Fighter, you know? Uh, FA Circuit Grand Prix, Jack Wyvern, Defense Zone, Lila, Twice, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, and Motivating Captain. Street, three strikes barrier. It's so weird. Like, I've seen guys now at the locals playing common dimensional barriers. It's like, whoa, what is that? And com common cosmic, cosmic cyclones. Like, damn. Times are a changing. Ugh. Whatever. I don't even care. Oh, God. What have I done? I just caused this pile to get a lot worse. Whatever. God, Jesus. Never mind. Launcher Commander. World Legacy Heart. DD Vice Typhoon. And Spellbook Knowledge. Nice. Blind, blind Obliteration. I actually had someone use this on me online. Uh, Downforce. Gravity Lash. Which I'm waiting to see that become a meta card. Spellbook of Knowledge. Great engine to have in any deck that uses Spellcasters. Its effect is send to the graveyard either one spellcaster monster you control or one other spellbook card from your hand or face up on the from your field except spellbook of knowledge and if you do draw two cards you can only activate one spellbook of knowledge per turn it is not cost to send by the way you just do it it's not cost so uh, very good nice Walmart's coming through all right there more uh, code of the duels. Jack Wyvern, Defense Zone, Castle Link, Castle Link, Goki, Suprex. I've actually seen people do well with Goki. I, the last region I was at, a guy was playing Goki, and he was, like, like doing pretty well. Uh, gross, uh, Crown of the World, Chalice, Hackworm. If your punk control someone, you can pull some of this card from your hand. Huh. Castle Link's a modern-day Senate Switch. One of the worst altars in the set, but I love its artwork. Once per turn, you can turn a one link monster on the field, move it to your main monster zone it points to on its controller's field. Once per turn, you can switch the location of two link monsters in your main monster zone or two link monsters in your opponent's main monster zone. So it is a Senate switch. That sucks. Senate switch and uh, approaching darkness or whatever it is all got eradicated because of link summoning. All right, Sonic Meister, chosen by the World Chalice, Vendred Revenants, Dark World Brainwashing, Trickstar Lycoris, which is actually really good, Screen King Dragon, Starving Venom, Three Strikes Barrier, Hackworm, Twilight Cloth. <laughs> yeah, the Trickstar, it's really interesting. I always hear about them being really good, and I just, I never see them doing good. I see the guys that are like pro players at my shop practicing with them, but I never see them play. The, the guys that take the game extremely serious they never play at locals they just come in and test decks all day i mean some of those guys are there like six hours a day backup secretary junk breaker jane twilight sworn general pulse mines another lila twilight sworn enchantress and a supreme king dragon odd eyes crowned by the world chalice gross and treasure panda drama yell again fucked up just getting destroyed there they should have shown him on spikes like Indiana Jones' buddy that betrays him. Remember that? He tries to steal the thing and he runs into those spikes. Like, what you get, fucker? Uh, backup Secretary, Junk Breaker, Jane, Cracking Dragon, Supreme King Dragon, Dark Rebellion. Oh, I skipped a Cracking Dragon, Supreme King Dragon, Dark Rebellion. 
This was a magazine promo over in Japan, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, which got more support. Uh, Gross, Twilight Twin Dragons, and Crown by the World Chalice. Did I get two normal monsters? No, I only got one. All right, three packs left to code the Duelist. Love to get a Firewall Dragon or a Trickstar Reincarnation. Really could use that. What have I gotten so far? Two Altars and a Secret. Not bad. Zombina, Vendred Revenants, Backup Secretary, Goki, the Great Ogre, Re-X, <laughs> Uh, Stack Reviver, Highlander, ooh, Trendy, Understudy, and Ultimate Pound. Remember, that was the uh, attack that Ancient Gear Golem used uh, in the anime. Uh, Crowler would always, Ultimate Pound? That's an offensive character now, because people call him Ma'am. He's like, I am not a ma'am. Like, what if he is? He doesn't know what gender he is. He's confused. Ugh. Alright, World Legacy Heart, Chosen by the World Chalice, Dark World Brainwash, F.A. Sonic Meister, three Lila Twice, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, and a Recall, Total Recall, Gross, Treasure Panda, and Supreme Rage, like the name of that card. Alright, last pack of Code of the Duelist, can I get a Trickstar Reincarnation, or a Firewall Dragon? Come on, show me the money. Boogie Trap. Jane, Speedroid, ah, oh, Trap Tricks, Mantis in the back to the front. It's actually, this card is actually hella good. I love back to the front. Really good card. Uh, Crown, Samurai Skull, Treasure Panda, Orbital Highlander. I did not get a Revendron Slayer. That's what my, what my favorite rare in this set. All right, here we go. Here's the new pack. Circuit Break. Got 14 of them. Uh, there's a lot of cards I like to get out of this. A Borolo Dragon, the cover monster right here. Uh, a Cossack Magician, and Evenly Mashed. I would love to get any of those. This would be awesome. Come on. Let's do this. Still messing with these over here. World Legacy Chalice, World Legacy Pawn, Self-Destruct Dance, Metaphys Executor, Metaphys Die Dallas, Ling Ling, X Crawler. So many crawlers I get. My God, I get so many crawlers in a row of circuit break. It's like crawler this, crawler that. It's pretty ridiculous. All right, the accumulator instead of the calculator. Anastith Rocket Dragon, that's a weird name. Duck Dummy, Metaphys Nephitis. So far, all my... Oh, and personal personal spoofing. So, three out of the four rares and supers I've gotten out of these two packs were Metaphys. That's weird. Yeah. Lang Lang, Stiffer Dragon, X Crawler, Crawler. <laughs> I think that's the same last two cards, last four cards almost, except for the Stiffer Dragon was in there in the last pack. Okay. All right, Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Magnarok Dragon. Okay, we've got an Ultra Rare there, World Legacy, World Armor. Dark Angel, World Legacy, and Amazon is Spy, and Cyber's Beacon. I forgot they got support in this Amazon. Magnarok Dragon. All right, here we go. When a Link Monster's effect is activated, it targets this face-up card on the field. Quick effect. You can destroy this card, then send one monster on the field to the graveyard. During the end phase, this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the field by battle or card effect and sent there this turn. You can spell on one rocket monster from your deck except Magnarocknick Dragon. You can only use each effect of Magnarocknick Dragon once per turn. Have yet to play against that. Probably never will. If I heard the deck is not good, even though it takes up a lot of altars and secrets in this set. Alright. Even though it's Link Monster, is hella fucking good. Crawler, Goliath, Amazonist Pet Liger. Man, look how fucked up that is. Whip Crosser, Anastas Rocket, Subterra Behemoth, Fiendus, Trickstar, Narcissus. What's the good Trickstar common monster? Lily Bell, I think. I think that's the one you want. Candina, of course, was in Code of the Duelist, and that's a good monster. All right. Uh, Defect Compiler, Compiler, Off Road Grand Prix, Link and Flyer, The Accumulator, and number 41, Baguska, the terribly tired taper. Look how tired he is. He's so tired, bro. So tired. Hella good monster. Ridiculously good. The sneak peek card, Hello, Hello. Oh, man. I'm going to read his poem. Okay. Uh, hollow, hollow, brain of hollow, guts are gone, noggins hollow, seeking sweets and marshing mallows, watch your back in your candy sack. Ha <laughs> ha! What's he mean, my candy sack? You're talking about my nuts? My crown jewels? Back-to-back -back F.A. cards, Capacitor Stalker. Man, these F.A. monsters are so bad. They're so bad. 
worst fucking archetype ever made as a TCG exclusive archetype. Like, god damn. Uh, Whip Crosser. So rad, man. Look at his face. He's got the skull mask and he's got the mohawk. So fucking rad. Galil X Crawler. Self Destruct Ant. Altergeist Protocol. Dragonoid Generator. Amazon is Spy Cypress Beacon Ling Ling. Alright, I'd like to get a secret rare at least from one of these circuit breaks. Hopefully a damn Borlo Dragon. Or an evenly matched would be even better. World Legacy Clash, World Legacy Pawn, Self Destruct Dank, Crawler Goliath, Metaphys Executor, Hollow Hollow. I'm not going to read its poem a second time. Uh, Crawler Receptor. I played against Crawler and it was awful. Like, dude, why are you playing Crawler? That deck's horrible. Like, I knew it was bad, but I didn't realize how bad it was until I played against it online. I'm like, holy shit, this guy can't do anything. Horrible deck. It does have the cool effect where you can special summon two at once. I do like that effect. Uh, the new Mermail Monster, Abyss Naray. Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Altergeist Protocol. Gotta get another one of those. Fantastic Stryborg. I don't remember this. Is this, like, the Fan Monster? Vortex Trooper? Monsters tributed for the face-up tribute summon of this card or return to the hand city going to the graveyard. Huh? Oh, he's a tribute. Okay, yeah. Once per turn, you can discard one card, return all cards your opponent controls to in this column card's column to the hand. Huh, that's an interesting card. You get to so if you tribute him for one, you get to add that monster back to your hand. That's weird. Huh. See some weird plays with that, I'm sure. Add back my Ash Blossom that I, for whatever reason, special summon to the field. Link Infra Fly, the Accumulator. Goki Headbat, Nimble Beaver. Man, another Altergeist Protocol. And a fantastic Strybor. It's card for card the same pack. Is it? I don't know. I'm going to go through the comments. God damn. All right. Still got some more circuit break here. Come on, Walmart. Don't let me down. Give me something good here. Pet Liger, Whip Crosser, Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, Subterra Behemoth Fiendus, Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. Tyrant Dragon was hella good when he first came out, the original one. What set was he from? Legacy of Darkness? I want to say. Uh, I still got four packs left. There's still a chance to get a secret. I'd like to get one, please. Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, Accumulator, Crawler Spine, Vendred Knights. Good field spell. Vendred Reunion. I got both Vendred. Uh, no, I didn't. There's also Vendred Chimera. Uh, Amazon Spy, Cybers Beacon. Three packs left. Still one hell of a long opening. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Alright. Royal Legacy Clash, Link Restart, Crawler Reviner, and a Spiral! Double Helix, Metaphys Dimension. Uh, Lunalite, and all these other cards. <laughs> Let me go ahead and read. Spiral Double Helix. Two Spiral Monsters. This card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while on the field or in the graveyard. You can declare one card type, monster spell or trap. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. And if you do and it's type matches the declared type, take one Spiral Monster from your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or spill some of your zone this card points to. You can only use this effect of Spiral Double Helix once per turn. That's a double helix. That's not just a regular, that's a double. All right, two packs left. Can I get a secret? I still like one. That's like the best altar to get, but can I get a secret rare? Duck Dummy, Accumulator, Crawler Spine, World Legacy, and another number 41, Baguska, personal spoofing. So tired, bro. Oh, God, my pile of commons is starting to collapse. Pit Stop, F.A., so bad. All right, here we go. Last best hope. Here we go. Can I get a secret rare? Come on. 14 packs. Two ultras. One more good card. Give me a secret. There's a new Mermail X Crawler. Crawler. Oh, and an auto rocket dragon. That is not a secret rare. Could not pull a secret rare out of 14 packs of Circuit Break, but I did get some quality cards there. Uh, I don't know what anything's worth. I know Double Helix should be the most expensive, but I have not checked its price since uh, the collapse of the Spirals, which actually are still a really good deck. I don't know what anyone's talking about. 
It's still mad good. It's just not fucking broken. I really like getting the Lumina. That was a good pickup. The Spellbook of Knowledge, always good because it's just such a good engine to run. And the Red Eyes Baby Dragons are both nice. Uh, the Castle Link, goddamn, that's awful. Uh, even the Magna Rocket Dragon can't be good. But, anyways, I really enjoyed it. That was, goddamn, how many packs was that? 54? Jesus Christ, I'm tired now. It's a lot of work. I don't even get paid for this. It's got my shit scared out of me. Something went wrong in my fucking house. I wonder if y'all heard that on camera. I'm like, what the hell is that? Sound like some pipes rattling. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You want to be alerted immediately, like instantaneously, like instant transmission Goku style. Go ahead and hit that bell icon for whom the bell tolls, and you'll be known instantaneously that I have put up a fine video with quality content. And you will enjoy it, and you will tell your friends, and you will laugh, you will cry, but most of all, you will laugh. Uh... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I sure did. That was a marathon, dude. 50, 54 packs. Damn. Really outdid myself there. But I will catch you guys in a couple of days. Stay, stay safe. Enjoy the game. And I will see you in a couple of days. Peace.